Well, I'm about to embark on my first overnight trip with the truck and see how things go. I've got it all loaded. I'm ready to go. I'm planning on leaving Campeche in about five minutes and the destination is Champontan, which is about 68 or 70 kilometers south. It should take me roughly 45 minutes or an hour to get there. You can see I have the truck loaded and I'm ready to go. I have the kayak in the back. The uh, plan is to go out and go into the mangroves and try to do some shooting and get some nice photographs. I've got my PVC frame set up and ready to go. I have the cross pieces in the truck. I didn't want to travel with the cross pieces on because I didn't think it would be that stable. Uh, rather than that, I have the side pieces strapped down with bungees to the truck and I have a little extra resistance up at the top. So it's fairly stable. It shouldn't go anywhere while I'm traveling. It's, it's pretty stable. It doesn't make a lot of noise. Should be pretty good. Now I've uh, been working on this for a little while. This will be kind of like a shake down cruise. All right, and we're off on our adventure. Well, I think I have everything. Of course, this being a shakedown trip, I'll soon learn and find out what I'm missing because I'm sure I'm forgetting something. So there's two roads here to go to Champlain. One is the free road, one is the toll road. We'll be taking the toll road because it's much faster and much easier. And we're now basically on the highway and it'll be about a one hour trip. We'll be traveling in about 100 kilometers an hour, which for you folks up north in the US, that's about 60 miles an hour. We'll be on cruise control and I found that that is the best speed for me to get the most gas mileage on the truck. Of course, we should never be in a hurry. We have to enjoy ourselves on the trip and that's exactly what my plan is. So far I don't hear any noise in the back. Right now we're at 93 kilometers. Things seem to be pretty stable. 97 kilometers and now we're at 100. Cruise control is engaged. Now we can kind of just relax a little bit. And enjoy the trip. Thank you. 
Champ on time. Truck looks like it did pretty good. The uh, configuration here, nice and sturdy, didn't go anywhere. It was nice and solid on the road. Uh, the pipes are still there for the cross pieces. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. Looks really good. Uh, this is the area I was thinking about setting up a tent. And obviously, as you can see, it's low tide right now. Well, I'm inside and it's raining. So it's a little hot. I forgot to make the windows and the screens like I had wanted to, but I'm reminded now, so I guess next time I go out I will do that. I've got my chair in here so that I can sit down. Uh, I've got my shirt hanging from the rafters so it'll dry. My ice chest, my GoPro battery is charging. I have my phone and my Bluetooth speaker here in the corner for music, my battery for a little extra power. I tried, I had an inflatable mattress and I opened up the box and the plug was gone. So I could not inflate the mattress. So I will have to get myself a mattress for the next time or something else to go on. And this is my view outside the tailgate. Not too shabby. First night in the truck is done and I wake up in the morning and what a nice view. Look at how nice and smooth that waterway is. I've checked a few things and it uh, doesn't look like I'm going to go out on the kayak today because the battery in the Nikon camera is almost depleted. I think by the time I get out there, or whatever, I don't know if I'd be able to do any shooting at all. I've got one bar. So it rained pretty good last night. I uh, got to check out the canopy with the water and with the rain and it held up pretty well. I didn't get wet inside at all. Uh, there was a little bit of a problem. I had brought along an air mattress and the air mattress didn't have a plug so I couldn't use it so I ended up sleeping on the uh, bed of the truck and uh, my back is not very happy today and it wasn't very happy most of the night. Uh, however, first night and it's a live and learn kind of a proposition. So I think what I'm going to end up doing now is I'm probably going to take it easy for a little bit, uh, let the sun come out, dry the tarp a little bit, put the tarp away, and there is a place that I like to go shoot that's usually pretty good with some nice birds uh, for a little further south, and I'll stay on land and uh, see how things go.